Plato Angelos is a post-impressionist artist who divided his artworks into five periods of his life and experience. Though he is 70, he is still an imaginative and inspiring artist who not only creates paintings but emotes his viewers and changes their life. The family. The first painting is during his first period, called The Family, in 1963, where he began to experiment with art. The family emotes a sense of depression, death, and vulnerability, and at first glance, you can tell that it's a family because of their close pose and emotion. This artwork is similar to Pablo's Girl with the Mandolin because of its emotional representation. The girl with the mandolin also evokes a coordinate to her instrument as if it's precious to her and is contact with the family as Pavos artwork is more lonesome and contained. Symphony of the Universe the second artwork is during his second period when he emphasized on nature and dynamic expression. In Symphony of the Universe, we see the expansion of life and the freedom in vibrant colors. An array of strokes creates a rainbow engulfing the world and its entirety. In contrast to this, the artwork Garden of Earthy Delights we see the doors closed to show an almost monochromatic piece of the world and its universe. Unlike Symphony of the Universe, the Garden of Earthy Delights depicts the universe as enclosed and constricting inside of vivid and free. Dharma and Adama. In the third period of his life, Angelo went through the political struggles of Thailand in the midst of a civil war. His artwork shows his psychological mind as he copes with the social issues of his country. In each stroke, he depicts events that occurred in horrifying details. The art piece Dharma and Adama is a representation of how society fared during the turmoil of war. How some people became lustful for power, while others became weak and submissive. Dharma and the Dharma is similar to Kandinsky's composition 7 of color and the arrangement. However, it differs in representation as composition 7 is more focused on the freedom aspects. It represents liveness instead of submission and freedom instead of being a prisoner to law. The Dharma and the Dharma art piece is very striking as every stroke is filled with uncontrollable emotion. The anchor is the artist's reputation of peace. This period is when the artist had to rediscover himself and achieve artist maturity after the events of democracy struggles. This was the piece of his corner 
as he put his feeling through breathing, beaming, and、uh, graceful paintings. The painting itself is of a boat in peaceful ocean waves as an anchor is thrown. The anchor is representation of grounding to home. This is in contrast with "Tim in a Snowstorm" by Turner, in which has similar nature component but different expression. Turner's painting is more refined and、uh, blime, focusing less on peace and、uh, more on nature's revenge. The next painting is Ethan Lear. During the same period as we previously mentioned, Ethan Lear shows peace in music, and the grandeur live sees the depiction of the solo layer in suspicion of a starry night. The style of this artwork is another example of his post-impressionism. Which might remind us of the Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Most of the painting shows the peaceful and the harmonic to the viewers. The Starry Night uses the blue and yellow color contrast to emphasize the stars, and the Listen Layer is used the darker color to highlight the stars. Power of creation. The last period of Plantin and Jerome's artistic life is one of experimentation and exploration of various mediums of our work. Power of creation is a great example of this, as his post-impressionism takes a new turn. The vibrancy and lightness, as well as the composition, is more refined and expressive than previous. This reminds us of Jackson Pollock's Blue Pulse Number、no. Eleven, as its representation is somewhat similar and its execution of painting, with its layered technique of acrylic paint.